Me de mensa o bon semeni. Well, hello there. My name is Jessica, Programs Manager for 97.3 City FM. Now, um, the December to Remember concert has come a long way. Um, it actually begun with a celebration of hip life, um, a little party that we used to throw back in the day at His Majesty's forecourt. We would invite as many hip life artists that we knew um, from Reggie Rockstone to Tic Tac from way back when. And we would all gather, share a few drinks, a few um, barbecues and uh, celebrate them. And over the years, it has evolved. Why has it evolved? Well, I guess people want more from artists, from the music industry, from the entertainment world. And so City FM heeded the call to expand the celebration from just having a few people in a small place to a whole concert where artists could engage their fans and audiences that love them and um, there would be that sort of intimate connection. Hence December to Remember was born. This year's edition will actually be the 8th and uh, well, I'm really looking forward to it because I've been lucky enough to witness all of them. Speaking of expectations, um, a lot more thinking has gone into making this year's concert stand out. Um, we're working hard to beat our own standards, um, but you can definitely expect our dress code to still come through. You know, everybody comes through with a white top and jeans. Um, what was the thought process behind that? Well, primarily, you'd realize that in Ghana, a lot of people, especially ladies, have difficulties finding attire to wear. Um, for concerts. So we were thinking of how we could make it easier such that someone's attire wouldn't be a hindrance to them wanting to have fun. So thinking through it again, we, we said, well, everybody wears jeans. Almost everyone owns a pair of jeans. Let's just add a white top and see how it goes. The first um, time we did it was absolutely amazing. The crowd looked beautiful, sea of white tops, you know, and um, I guess feedback we had every year after the event was a positive one and hence we decided to keep it. And in fact, if you talk to patrons of entertainment events in Ghana, they will tell you um, that they it's actually something that they look forward to. White top and jeans every year. Very easy to find and put on and uh, try and be innovative with as well. Um, this year we also hope that more time will be spent with artists um, in terms of their performances and how they're going to be doing them. Um, there'll be a lot more interaction um, with the audience um, to draw them closer to the artists. And um, a lot more entertainment industry surprises can also be expected at this year's event. Okay, the main artists for this year's concert will soon be unveiled. And I'm sure by the end of today's launch, everybody would be excited with the lineup that we have today. One thing I can tell you for sure is they're all well-versed in their um, fields and in their music and they have the awards to prove it. Um, I'm looking forward to a great December to remember. It's definitely happening at the Accra International Conference Center on Christmas Eve. It's Ghana's official Christmas party and gates will open at 8 p.m. on the day. So. Uh, for those of you here with us tonight, I'm hoping that you would, you know, invite a friend of t or two, come together, and let's have a good time, usher in the Christmas, um, or usher in Christmas Day, um, and all celebrate together, really. I would at this point also like to acknowledge the people who give us the juice to make it happen, our sponsors, Airtel, you've been absolutely amazing, thank you so much for your support, you were with us last year, this year we're doing it again, we're grateful, um, and also to Dynamite Energy Drink, and also to Coupenda Condoms, this is going to be worth it. <laughs> 